finally it paid off, finishing in first two positions. Well, Jeremy Deplanche, number 157 this year, the French Nationals. There's Mark Zoranek, who these days is based in Florida with the Gators. There's Gonzalez de Oliveira in five. Santos of Portugal goes in six. Oh, is it, is it cold? Is it a bit nippy? Oh, it's <laughs> nipping. <laughs> In seven. And Gurovic of Israel goes in lane number eight. And of course, I forgot to mention the Hungarian great, David Varashtu, going in lane number one. Sorry about that. Simon Shodin of Sweden to complete the eight. Well, they know what they've got to do. They've got to go sub two. I think there's a rhyme in there somewhere. So expect him and to be fast in butterfly and maybe even backstroke. Except Hugo Gonzalez from Spain to be fast in butterfly and maybe backstroke. And expect Jeremy Deplange to be in the contention throughout these 200 meters. Well, we'll see how much of uh, swimming with Florida has done for Zoranek. Well, he got the personal best this morning, so that's working pretty well. Sex semi final of the 200 meters individual medley for men. Center lanes occupied by Jeremy Deplanche of Switzerland, Mark Zoranek of Great Britain, and Gonzalez of Spain. How's it looking over the first 35? Gonzalez strong in lane five. Also coming strong, Jeremy Deplanche in three. And the Swiss probably first at the turn. He is in 25 to 7. Zoranek a little while back, but his breaststroke is very, very strong. We'll bring him back into the field if he needs it. Maybe the backstroke can help him as well. We saw the big transition in the previous semi final from butterfly to backstroke and how things do tend to sometimes unravel or improve, depending on your point of view. De Planche is still in front, and there's three in a line behind him. Zoranek, Gonzalez and Santos will all go to the wall together. Gonzalez just ahead of Zoranek. 54-6-5 the split time. And that is three tenths of a second faster than in the previous semi-final. Well, this should be one of the strong suits for Mark Zoranek of Great Britain who's uh, just keeping pace with Deplorche who's not wanting to be beaten here. He's got a great time already this year. Now, who is he going to pull along to uh, maybe a decent time here in Glasgow? It's going to be the Planche who gets the first touch. Second touch goes from Ceranic. Third, Santos. Four, Gonzalez. And they hit 128. So they're about a second and a half outside European record pace. And now listen to the home crowd. Chiringo Mark Ceranic. They want another British to win. Another well, semi-final. Yeah, he's not going to win this one. He's going to finish in second place by the looks of things, but it should be good enough. As long as he gets under that two-minute barrier, he is through to the final and is comfortably under that two-minute barrier. Deplanche winning in 157.99 and Ceranic with a 158.22. And as far as he's concerned, that's a little bit slower than he went this morning by 15 one hundredths. But it's nothing, 15 one hundredths. You know, that was a different race. Now he needed to qualify. And that's that's all he needed. The 158, it's good enough for one of the top spots in the final. Well, seven are under two minutes and one person's on two minutes in terms of qualifying for the final. So you really had to get under two if you wanted to make it. And seven of them did. And one snuck in by the skin of his teeth. Well, look at the completed result from that semi-final and there it is Deplanche winning by in the end 0.23 very tight